Today, we're featuring something a little different, to say the least. While on a filming expedition to record spawning brook trout, we stuck around until they were finished. Post-spawn and hungry, we offered them a little snack and couldn't believe what happened next. While carefully avoiding their nests, those big brook trout literally surrounded our underwater cameraman, Rick. Almost as if these wild fish actually recognize him as an old friend. We hope you enjoy this journey to a very special wilderness lake in Quebec.
Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View. If you are one of our regular viewers, you may be aware that we do all of our underwater filming with a camera on the end of a pole. Up top, a portable television allows us to monitor all the activity down below. Because we manufacture our own housings complete with camouflage, we're able to blend in and get just this close to the action. Or, as we like to put it, we're not pretty, but we get the job done. It's always been our objective to film and study fish that are acting and reacting as naturally as possible, in spite of our intrusion. After the fact, and just like recorded golf swings, we're able to review and analyze minute details of successes and failures. With more than 1,200 hours of footage, we're still learning new things. After 20 years of this activity, you might say we've observed a few unusual things along the way not the least of which are instances of peculiar behavior. While some fish obviously lack restraint when hamming it up for the camera, others defy reason. For more than an hour, this female steelhead wouldn't leave us alone. She actually ruined our attempts at strike shots. Her life threatened by a parasitic lamprey. Was it simple curiosity or was it something else? Your guess is as good as ours.